Yo, what's up, boys? All right, so today I'm going to be uh, basically just breaking out every single thing you can do on console and PC to get your edits faster and to remove all types of input delay. So we're going to just go straight into it. Just make sure you drop a like and sub if you haven't. Like 80% of you guys aren't subscribed, so it'll mean the world if you guys can just sub and like and comment. Let me know what your favorite food is in the comments. All right, so back to the video. In their settings, this works on console and PC, but this is mostly for my console, my console boys. All right, so what you want to do, go here in the first tab and you won't see all the distance from a console but all you want to do is go down to motion blur make sure that's off you shouldn't have it on anyways because you know i do a lot of these videos so that should be this should already be off so after that you want to go down to the second tab and scroll all the way down and what you want to do is turn off your replays all right replays you guys know what replays it records your game so let's say if i'm on obs my my frames will be worse because i'm recording my game rather than not recording and just playing so you know how that works you want to not have something recording in the background so you want to turn all those off so that's going to help you with your delay and stuff so next thing is this right here i don't hear anybody talking about it but if you don't edit with circle so you edit with any other button but circle you want to put your edit hold time all the way to the max i don't know what this does but i swear ever since i put it on i felt like my edit is like faster i don't i don't know if it's about the delay but i feel like it's been faster for me but keep that in mind you can play with it a little bit let me know if it's better all the way down or all the way up. I play with mine all the way up, so I think it's pretty good. And after you do that, scroll all the way down. And, of course, make sure on linear because, linear, you know, linear, like, helps out, like, with your movement and editing, you know. So if you're on Expo, if you're on Expo, just get off of that, please. And what you want to do is go down after that. Go all the way down to foot controller, turn it on. Have your max throttle and dead zone all the way to the least it can go so one percent one percent of course and then scroll down to the the audio tab where you see all of this like subtitles you want to turn all of this off but not just sound quality because you need your sound to play but turn all of this off go to your options get everything on the lowest it can be all right so subtitles off extra small white none clear all of that all right you just want every every unnecessary uh setting that you just want to turn it off because you don't need it you don't use it it's just taking up space you know so you want to have less input delay after doing this and the next thing this is the secret secret setting all right go to your settings this is console and pc okay so find in your combat controls okay find any button that you don't use okay that you don't any button that you don't use so let's say if i wanted to do this i go down look i see that i have my my L3 un unbinded, right? I click on it. You want to scroll all the way down right here until you see switch mode slash edit right there. See, I had my, my touchpad was, um, not my touchpad, my start, my start button. I keep forgetting I'm on the Xbox controller now. My start button, right? It was unbounded just like L3 and I clicked it and I just did that. So I'm not going to actually do it because I already have it bonded to my start button. So yeah. You just want to turn that on and then just back out. And you'll know when you did it once you have a circle around your edit button. And it won't actually be your edit button and just show it. So, yeah. you know when you did it when you did that. This should honestly help you out a lot. If you do all of that. So, let's just say, okay. You, you're new to the video. And you haven't did any of these tips. You should feel, like, amazing at editing. Like, you should feel so fluent and fast. It should, like, it's going to be crazy. So, let me know if these, these tips helped. And also, if you're on PC, this is one last tip you can do. Uh, I don't use it though because I don't really find it that effective. But people are like, if you notice, people are um, people are going a generic. I don't know why, but they say it like helps with input delay. I I personally like Xbox better, but PC boys, you guys can try that out and let me know in the comments if it works or not. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Besides using a LAN cable for your your PC or your console and using a wired controller, you know. Okay, and before we end this video, this is one more tip. This is one more tip that I have to uh, discuss. It's really like overlooked. Flea used it in one of his videos, and like people didn't really do it that much. I don't know if they do, but they don't say they do it. But like editing without your headphones on, you know how like you edit and you hear that edit. Like you don't really edit until you hear this go off. But it, you can really edit as as fast as you want. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter about the delay. Like you can edit as fast as you want. Just turn off your headphones. See how better you edit without hearing that noise. Cause it's kind of like, like he said, it's kind of like it's brainwashing you to like just click the button after you hear that edit go off. But you can literally just you can edit way faster than the sound. So 
yeah just keep that in mind just it, it'll help you get better with your clicks so like just just spam edit without your headphones all right just spam edit without your i have my headphones on but it's gonna feel a lot better when you don't have headphones because you don't hear the noise you can just keep clicking as fast as you can and you won't realize that you're actually like messing up if you don't hear like i can't really explain it but just try it that's another useful tip and yeah i'm out